Well, uh, unemployment in Kamloops at the moment is is near record lows. Uh, it, it certainly uh, has been a lot higher. Uh, if we think back uh, 16 years ago, uh, the unemployment rate in Kamloops was in the mid-teens and, and got as high as 17 percent at one point. Uh, in in the, uh, the 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 mid uh, single digits, uh, we're in pretty good shape here in Kamloops. There are pockets uh, around the interior that are not doing uh, quite as well. That's why we uh, we focused uh, like a razor uh, like a laser uh, in in the recent budget on a number of initiatives that are about fostering economic growth in in small to mid-sized communities. Uh, things like the rural economic uh, uh, dividend uh, fund, uh, the reduction in the small business uh, tax from two and a half percent to two percent to really you know, uh, get behind small businesses and encourage more growth there. They're the largest uh, generator of jobs in the province. Uh, it, that, that's why we, we have focused on uh, uh, more investments and supports for our tech sector uh, because tech companies can exist anywhere, and they do. They invest uh, in, 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 and set up uh, businesses and, and hire people in Kamloops and in Hundred Mile House and in Salmon Arm and in all points in between. So what we really need to focus on in the in the forthcoming years in terms of opportunity for Kamloops and the interior is uh, on the one hand uh, big projects that are at our doorstep like the Kinder Morgan project uh, that will pump millions of dollars of opportunity into our community and communities throughout the interior get get behind mining uh, Site C, uh, which uh, is now employing a couple thousand uh, Br British Columbians, several hundred of whom are from Kamloops. Uh, the LNG industry, uh, the, uh, um, uh, the, the, the big employment industries uh, of the past, uh, they're still here and they're still viable and they're still worthy of getting behind them and there's lots of jobs related to those. But there's emerging industries like tech as well. Uh, when I left the tech sector four years ago, uh, I was a CEO of a tech company. Uh, there were maybe a dozen companies in Kamloops with uh, anywhere close to 20 employees. Um, today, there are over 1,600 employees in the tech sector here in Kamloops and 160 different companies. Uh, so there is a tremendous opportunity to, uh, to continue to get behind the tech sector and there's a series of initiatives that we've rolled out as a government uh, including access, uh, more access to capital, uh, more access to the training, so we're training more, uh, more students uh, to get into the, to the sector uh, and, uh, and all kinds of other strategies that will be about uh, helping uh, this emerging industry continue to create jobs in communities like Kamloops.